In other news today, right now, two people are dead after flames raged through their home in Brookville. This comes just one day after a fire killed two people in Clark County. Jordan Burgess is live to tell us why firefighters say, just as it was with that earlier fire, something very simple could have saved their lives. The more firefighters learn about this blaze, the more tragic the tale becomes. They say the two people in this fire had a smoke detector, but it wasn't working. And firefighters say that's why the smoke that filled their home here in the 100 block of North Wolf Creek Street proved fatal. We've now learned the names of those victims. They're 46-year-old Roger Ostrander and 51-year-old Sheila Brake. Firefighters tell us they think the two were asleep inside when the fire started in the kitchen. Investigators from the state fire marshal's office are still looking into what sparked the blaze. Earlier, it was thought it might be a cooking fire. But now officials are looking into other causes, although they tell me the fire is not suspicious. Now, police officers first smelled the smoke in town, found the fire, and called for help. Firefighters discovered the victims right away and put the fire out within minutes. Crews say the two looked like they were trying to escape, but didn't have enough warning. Four minutes makes the difference in life and death. And if they had smoke detectors, that fire would have probably been a very small fire. Uh, and they would probably be standing here thanking us for putting the fire out. Sadly, that's not the case, and that's why firefighters say you need to check the batteries in your smoke detector and change the detector itself every five years. And join us tonight starting at 5 to hear why officials say it doesn't take a huge fire to end up with a major tragedy. Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.